Hi everyone. When you considering buy a CNC oscillating machine, maybe you have a concern: Is it easy to install? Don't worry. This video will guide you the whole installation process. Let's from the moment you receive the machine. First, inspect the packaging for any damages. If damaged, take them with photos. Open the box and take out the machine. Your machine will consist of four major components: main bed frame, operating table, vacuum pump, toolbox. If you have optional the milling cutter too, your package will also include a dust extraction system. Once everything is okay, let's start to install the machine. First, move the machine to the installation location. The bottom of the machine has six leveling feet and four wheels. Turn the leveling feet clockwise to raise them. Easily push the machine into its installation spot. After confirming the location, rotate the leveling feet counterclockwise so that all six feet touch the ground. In this way, the machine is placed. Next, connect the machine power supply. The voltage requirement. Voltage two hundred and twenty hertz, fifty to sixty. Your machine comes with a plug. Match the local standards. All you need to do is prepare a ten ampere socket and insert the plug. The machine bed is finished the installation. Now let's install the vacuum system. The vacuum system consists of five components: vacuum pump, suction pipe, signal wire, power cable, silencer. Place the vacuum pump behind the machine. Connect one end of the suction pipe to the machine, and the other to the vacuum pump's inlet. Attach the signal wire to the machine's control system. Please observe carefully as our engineer show how. Install the silencer on the vacuum pump's outlet. Lastly, connect the power to the vacuum pump. Requirements. Voltage, three hundred and eighty voltage. Air switch model, three P, C thirty two or C sixty three. Wiring, four square meters of copper wire. Then connect the U, V, W label power wires in sequence to the air switch. Okay. The vacuum system installation finish. Now let's move to the operating console. Place the operating table on the machine's right side. Connect the control wires to the machine. Observing the engineer's demonstration. Install the computer bracket and fix the computer to the operating table. Use the network cable from the toolbox, connecting one end to the computer and the other to the machine. Okay, now the operating console is done. Let's start to install the dust system. It is only for the customer who option on the milling tool. Place the dust extractor on the machine's left side. Fix the bracket to the machine.
Connect the suction pipe to the milling cutter too. Connect the other end to the dust extractor. Finally, connect the dust extractor's power source and press the start button. Okay, now let's connect the air into the machine. Use an 8 mm diameter hose, the other to the machine's water oil separator. If you have optional pneumatic oscillating tool, ensure the air pressure during operation is no less than 0 0.65 ampere. Now, all is fine. Let's start the machine. How to start the machine correctly? Turn the main switch clockwise. Then press the switch button on the console after 3 or 5 seconds. Wait for the control panel to start. Then enter the control page. Click the Origin button. Once the panel shows Origin successful, your machine is successfully started. Ok, after successfully start the machine, you have to do an important check. It is confirm the vacuum system working correctly. Click the vacuum button. Conduct a test as shown in the video. If the vacuum pump is in exhaust mode, the installation is correct, otherwise it's incorrect. How to resolve? Stop the suction command and disconnect the vacuum pump power supply. Swap the position of any two wires among U, V, W. Okay, machine now installed finished. Let's start to install the software. First, turn on your computer. Find the U disk from the toolbox and connect it to the computer. Find the machine software package and copy it to the computer. Right click and choose Send to Desktop as shortcut. Double click to open the software. First, click Configure to set the software language to English. Click File and then click Machine Parameter. If a network timeout dialog appears, proceed with computer's Ethernet IP settings. Follow the steps in the video to navigate to network and internet settings and input IP address as 192.168.1.1. Six, six. Return to the software and click Get from Machine to obtain machine parameters like work area, two numbers, and two positions. Click Refresh Work Direct to save the parameters. Then click Exit to exit this interface. Ok, until now, we have finished the machine and the software installation. Let's move to the last stop, testing the working table data. Move the cutting head to the mechanical origin by clicking Origin. Use the provided leveling tool and connect it to the machine. Press this data button and start testing mode. Click test table and wait for 15 or 20 minutes. After completing the test, save the table data and open adjust table mode. Remove the testing tool and exit the testing mode. 
Okay, after down the table testing, there is a very important steps. That is, you need to turn off this data button. No need testing the table again. We will next time turn on the machine. So must make sure when you use the machine working, this data button must be the off status. Okay, now your machine is successfully installed and ready for operation. If you have more questions of the installation, we provide the online assistant. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for your watching. Bye.